So sometimes when I'm back here in Oakland, California, and just enjoying a nice cup of coffee in the morning, I think about all the cups of coffee I've had when I'm traveling to coffees that, countries that produce it. Like uh, last week I was in Guatemala or in the Simeon Mountains watching the Galata baboons. But actually, uh, if you want the worst cup of coffee you've ever had, you go to a country that produces it. Sadly, the bad coffee is held in country for local consumption, they call it. And uh, what you really need to do is bring your own coffee equipment and your own coffee. So some people were asking, you know, what kind of travel kit do I use? And I thought I'd show you my little compact travel kit. I've uh, perfected this over the years, and... It all fits in a five pound Sweet Maria's bag, uh, cloth bag, and my brewer of choice is ah, the AeroPress. It's uh, compact and perfect for one person, but I'll show you how I make coffee for you know, a few people at a time. So I can get my AeroPress lengthwise, my little five pound bag. I've got my coffee. I use these little quarter pound valve bags because they're squishy and they seem to do pretty well in flights. So my, my real secret ingredient here is the, of my kit is, is this little bundle. It's this uh, small metal cup that I got in the coffee area of Brazil like about eight years ago. And that fits right on top of my, the small size Porlex mill. Sometimes I take one of the vintage Zassenhaus uh, Turkish mills, but the Porlex is even smaller. And this is actually really important. This is a you know milk frothing pitcher that we sell. This is the 20 ounce size. And uh, a lot of times I find that there's nothing to brew into, and it's really hard to ask. I can ask for, you know, por favor, agua bien caliente, pero, but I can't ask for something to uh, brew into. And uh, then... I got my filters. Um, I've used the little metal filters, but I tend to lose them, the uh, ones from Able Brewing. So I usually keep those in the top. Then I've got, very important, my little spoon to stir. And it's a little bit dirty, but I keep a cloth with me because it's really great to clean up the, uh, the AeroPress. And that's it.